Hey, what's up everybody? This is Maniac here coming to you guys with another video. So first of all, um, something really cool happened the other day. Uh, the Relaxing Ghost channel, which is one of my favorite uh, channels on YouTube, subscribed to me and started watching my videos. So I really appreciate it. It means a lot uh, for someone that big on the YWC to uh, be checking me out. With the channel only has like 16, 18 subscribers is uh, is crazy to think of. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So let's get into this video. And by the way, I am going to be making the next video is going to be how, showing you guys how to make your own cover slips. I tried this uh, a week ago and I failed miserably. Uh, so I'm going to try it again uh, later tonight. But in the meantime... Um, I'm going to be doing the top 50 uh, superstars of all time. This is one of the most controversial WWE DVDs that was ever put out because of the list. And I'll show you guys the list with my own cover slip, which is kind of the point of this video. So, you get the top 50 superstars of all time. Um, I just want to point out that there is no Macho Man. There is no Ultimate Warrior uh, on the cover. So, uh, they have... The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, they have Randy Orton, uh, I don't know if Randy should be on the cover, Kane, uh, Sergeant Slaughter, The Undertaker, Iron Sheik, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Roddy Roddy Piper, Terry Funk, Mr. Perfect, Dusty Rhodes, I believe that that is Jimmy Snuka, and, uh, <laughs> We all know what Jimmy Snuka has done, uh, you know, so I, I, I'm not a fan of Jimmy Snuka for what he's done uh, in the past with his girlfriend in 1983. I don't really want to get into that. John Cena, Gorilla Monsoon, Jerry the King Lawler. I met him many, many times before. Great, great guy. Uh, Edge, The Big Show, Pat Patterson. Oof, uh, I don't really want to get into my opinion of Pat Patterson. Eddie Guerrero. The Rock, Ray Mysterio, who was a dick to me in real life. Fuck you, Ray. Um, Jake the Snake Roberts, The Fabulous Moolah, Junkyard Dog, Triple H. So that is your cover um, for the top 50 superstars of all time. But no Macho Man and no Ultimate Warrior. Roddy Piper, Ray, Randy, basically Shawn Michaels there. King Harley Race, uh, Jake the Snake. You got your superstars here. Uh, I don't remember if this is. I think this is Jack Briscoe, but it could. I think it it could be Jerry Br or uh, Gerald Briscoe. One of the two. I, I think this is Gerald Briscoe. Yeah, it's Gerald Briscoe. Uh, so I get mixed with them sometimes. So here is your uh, here's your work. And by the way, th this is just my uh, charging cord for my iPhone. I use this all the time because I'm like an obsessed freak. Uh, don't ask me about it. So. Um, this is what I'm talking about when I say a cover slip. And, you know, since it, WWE didn't provide me one, I just made my own. And uh, <laughs> some of you might think, how the hell can you do something like this? But, yep, this is my world of uh, knowing stuff. So here is your list. Um, you know, sorry, Killer Kowalski, uh, you know, from number 50. And um, so far, you know, I mean, the list is okay, you know, but once you get to about right there, number 23, Hulk Hogan, that's why this was one of the most controversial DVDs, because of that right there. Hogan is nowhere near the list. I mean, a guy like Rey Mysterio, which, you know, Rey Mysterio was a dick to me, but he's a good wrestler. But you're going to tell me that Hulk Hogan, who main evented WrestleMania 3 with uh, Andre the Giant, main evented WrestleMania 6 with the Ultimate Warrior, is going to be at number 23, and Rey Mysterio is going to be at number 9. Give me a fucking break, you know? And, um, I mean, even Eddie Guerrero. I mean, Eddie Guerrero was great, uh, you know, entertainer, great wrestler, but Hulk Hogan is a bigger star than Eddie Guerrero. Uh, and then John Cena ahead of Ric Flair and uh, Dusty Rhodes. Um, this is why this is one of the most controversial DVDs. And then you got your uh, extras here. You got your matches. Um, actually, no, it should be on this side. So that there's your matches. This is the only reason I really bought this uh, uh, DVD set. 
was to see what extras, because I knew the list was shit. Um, not bad what you get. Just letting you guys take a look at uh, what we got going on here. I remember, this was really funny, uh, The Rock and Mankind. They wrestled in, um, in an arena with nobody there. <laughs> and they're fighting in the back. That was, that was really cool. Yeah. So we go all the way up to 2008. So, uh, yeah, um, very controversial DVD. And I, I, I really personally, uh, when I saw Hulk Hogan at number uh, 23, I was like, give me a break, WWE. And they even warned you on the thing. But, I mean, like, come on, man. The wrestlers are really going to put Hulk Hogan at number 23. You know, I mean, give me a break. You know, this was a time when Hulk Hogan was not associated with the WWE. I guarantee you if they came out with the set in 2014 and early, early 2015, before the whole, uh, you know, um, scandal came out, uh, you know, with, with the Hulk Hogan saying the wrong word, the N-word, before that all happened, Hulk Hogan would have been higher on this list. Um, yeah, I mean, the list was shits, but the matches were not bad. You know, the matches were, uh, and that's the only reason I bought this DVD was just to get some matches uh, that I don't have on other DVD sets. So I'm letting you guys take a look at everything. There's the spine. So, yeah, overall, if I have to give this out of a 10, I would give this about a 5 just because of how messed up the list is with Hulk Hogan number 23. Uh, yeah, so that is your top 50 superstars of all time, uh, cheap little DVD review, three disc set, I know that they have a one disc set, that's the one you want to avoid, because, um, if I'm correct, and I could be wrong, but I think the list is all that's on disc one, yep, avoid, avoid that first disc, because all you're gonna get is the list, and you're gonna get a crappy list. I mean, yeah, some of it is okay, like, you know, Shawn Michaels being number one. Here's the thing, um, you know, Shawn, I'll just say this very quickly. Shawn Michaels was one of the greatest of all time, but I do not consider him over Ric Flair or The Undertaker because they both had way longer careers than Shawn Michaels did. Shawn Michaels wrestled from 1984 to 1998, and then he t uh, his back injury, and then he came back in from 2002 to 2010. And The Undertaker wrestled from 1984 all the way, even, a, even though it was one appearance shows at the end of his career, WrestleMania to 2017, possibly even this year he might wrestle again, which, oh God almighty, you know, Undertaker's killing his legacy every time he comes back. He's too old, he just needs to hang it up. But anyways, um, there's your DVD review. Next up is going to be how to make the cover slips. And uh, in the meantime, uh, while I'm uploading this video, I'm going to try to find my good pair of scissors. Because these are not my good pair of scissors. I have a white pair of small little scissors. And those fuckers are amazing. Uh, and I've only been able to find these ones. So uh, I'm going to go look for that while this video is being uploaded to uh, YouTube. So anyways... Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, yeah, the Relaxing Ghost, uh, Wrestling Rampage, uh, Awesome 4K, I got some major, major YouTube channels checking this, uh, channel out, I mean, you got T and Q Ponder, uh, you've got Andrew jo Jodo Dean, I apologize if I, uh, mispronounce your name, um, I mean, there's so many others, I mean, I'm trying to think of all the, the loyal subscribers who have been with me since the beginning, um, yeah, but I mean, listen, all those guys mean a lot, but the Wrestling Rampage guys, uh, we've had a really strong connection since I came on here, and I really appreciate everything they've, uh, done for me, and I've sent them a lot of things, and, um, I'll look out for whenever they send me, uh, you know, because they are gonna send me something, and by the way, I just want to get this out of the way right now, uh, whatever they send me, it, even if I don't win, um, the 1,000 subscriber thing is not a part of the 1,000 subscriber thing, okay? So if you see an unboxing here, if they do send it out to me, and I don't win, it's I, it's not because I did win. It's just, it's another thing, you know? Um, but that's up to them, of course. And uh, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'm out of here. Peace out.